Hi, this is Stoney, music producer from New York City. I'm here at Propeller Heads to introduce to you the new Regroove mixer that's going to be featured in the Reason version 4. What is a groove? A groove is the rhythm that you create yourself. A groove is your own feeling. A groove allows you to stay outside of the 16th note realm where you can come out and you can play with your velocities, you can play with your timing, you can play with your notes, you can play with your time signatures. A groove is your own rhythms, regroove. Here I created a drum beat where you can listen to it. It's pretty much of a straight run, 16th quantized. Uh, this is without any groove applied. As you can hear the changing of the timing with the hi-hat, the groove is applied and it has more of a human feel and a nice swing to it. We're going to walk through the regroove mixer. In the transport area, we have a button designated for the regroove mixer. Click on the button. Here you have four banks, A through D, with eight channels designated for each bank. This button is designated to load up groove templates that come with the factory sound bank. A template contains the timing and velocity that makes up the groove. Reason factory sound banks come with a large selection of groove and categories such as MPC grooves, live drum grooves, and drum grooves extracted from different vinyl recordings. The fader sets the impact of the groove templates on your recordings. The shuffle adds and removes shuffle from the loaded groove template. The slide shifts the timing by ticks, letting you create subtle changes in timing. Let's take a look at how all of this works. I have a hi-hat. We're going to assign the hi-hat to A1. We're going to go to channel A1. I'm going to go into my browser, and we're going to look at some of the regroove patches that are inside of this factory sound bank. I'm going to choose a tambourine because of the percussion, and I'm using the hi-hat right now. So we're going to go to the swing tam. That. And let's press play. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay. I'm going to use the fader to add some impact to the patch that I just chose. And we're going to use the shuffle button. Here you can automatically hear that there's a change in the timing. And then I'm going to adjust it to my liking, the way that I see it fit. That's pretty cool. Now I'm going to go to my kick drum. And I'm going to assign that to A2, to, A to channel A2. I'm going to go into my browser, and I'm going to choose something appropriate for the drum, for the kick drum. I'm going to choose something from the MPC folder. I'm going to actually just get a shuffle groove. I'm going to add some impact to that shuffle on the kick. And I'm going to add a little bit of shuffle to that also. Now you can automatically hear that there is a change in the rhythm and the groove. But that also changes my hi-hat now. So I'm going to go back to the hi-hat. I'm going to take the fader and I'm going to bring it down a little bit just to adjust it. Just so that it can fit into the pocket with the kick now. And I'm going to adjust my shuffle just a little bit, a couple of percentages there. That feels better. I've just demonstrated the regroove mixer. As you can see, it was really easy getting results right away, really quick, with the impact of the fader and with using the shuffle knob. I was able to see results from my hi hats and my kicks right away. And only with regroove, I was able to do that in that fast timing fashion. And I get results like that from reason for be reason busy busy busies. I'll do it over. <laughs> the regroove mixer. Reason version 4.